it's not often we see a cyclist here. Hidden away under a helmet, it can be overlooked. But I think a cyclist here is key to their very identity as a rider. And for this reason, I thought we'd examine the key protagonists in the cycling hairstyle fashion and give them the applause they deserve. Or not. Now the mullet has long been synonymous with cycling hairstyles. It's hard to grow your hair out long underneath a helmet. And the mullet gets around this by having a party at the back, nice and long, but neat and tidy on top, making it much more comfortable underneath your helmet. Shane Archbold is a New Zealand rider who has perfected the mullet, having one for most of his career. Now Shane is known as the Flying Mullet on Twitter and had the self-proclaimed best mullet at the London 2012 Olympics. Keep up the good work, Shane. Love your stuff. Australian professional Mitch Docker is an experienced and reliable hand on the road. And he's also had a vast array of colorful previous hairstyles. His most recent, a thick moustache and a rather spectacular mullet was quite probably the envy of many in the pro peloton. Even better, he shaved the whole thing off for bushfire relief with his teammate Lachlan Morton. Fair play, Mitch. Great work. A Russian legend of cycling next, Vladimir Karpitz. We'd like to know where Vladimir was going with that hairstyle because it is a killer. There's nothing like a mullet that's been dyed blonde. And we salute you, Vladimir. The definition of a true professional cyclist haircut. Right, so rather self-indulgently, I've added myself to the list and I think I deserve to be here because I've had a brilliant array of haircuts throughout my time. And I think my favourite would be last year's Giro d'Italia, where I managed to take the start line with a whole bush of hair. And this fulfilled a lifelong ambition of mine, starting a grand tour with free flowing locks of hair running behind my helmet in the peloton. It was just as good as I thought it would be. Bradley Wiggins is an all-time legend of the sport. And he's worn a number of hairstyles rather well, so it'd be rude to leave him off this list. We're especially fond of his mod look. A friend of the mod father, Paul Weller, Bradley brought a bold and new, fresh look to the professional peloton, and we congratulate him for this. Although we will we'll all miss those sideburns. French cycling legend and two-time winner of the Tour de France, Laurent Fignon, had a famously impressive haircut luscious locks out on display for everyone to see. Fortunately, helmet laws were a bit lax back then. Fignon was dubbed the professor due to his long hair and glasses, but he infamously lost a Tour de France by a handful of seconds, beaten by Greg LeMond in the final TT. Now, LeMond wore a rather newfangled TT helmet, which was rather aerodynamic. Fignon, on the other hand, had his hair cut out on display for everyone. Was it the haircut that cost him the Tour de France? God, I hope not. Super Domestique and team captain at Ineos, Luke Rowe, donned a brilliant Mexican at last year's Tour de France. It came about as a lost bet, and all we can say to it is, wow. Now, for the first Italian on our list, but don't worry, he won't be the last. Daniel Oss was a fantastic rider in his own right, and I was always in awe when I raced against him, but he also had a fantastic hairstyle. He went for the full grow it out look with wild, uncontrolled, rock and roll style hair. Fair play, Daniel, that was a brilliant hairstyle. But how did you do it? How did you fit it all under your helmet? I really wanna know, actually. If you're, if you're watching, let us know in the comments section. We appreciate some advice. Another French Laurent on the list, ex-world champion no less, Laurent Brochard, and he can probably be remembered for having the greatest mullet of all time. Now there are mullets, and then there are mullets. I mean, look at that. <sighs> Style to the max. We congratulate you, Laurent. Next, the Italian maestro, Filippo Pozzato. Barely needs an introduction, he won Milan San Remo and was just a true modern legend of the sport. Pizzato had a colourful array of cracking hairstyles and for this reason, Filippo, 
We salute you. Thanks for showing us the true meaning of style. So, those are some of the key hairstyles in professional cycling. But who did we miss? Let us know in the comment section below. Go on, don't be afraid. Keep commenting. Go on, let me know what you think of my hair. Which, which one do you think was best? Not afraid for any abuse, go on. Right, thanks for watching everyone. I'm off for a little jog around the block. Just embrace my inner Pizzato. Maybe have a glass of champagne halfway round, see how it goes. I'm feeling, uh, feeling rather dashing actually. See you next time.